Hey guys, Nina here, welcoming you to another reading from the Ladies of Horror Picture Prompt Monthly Challenge, hosted by Elaine Pascal on her channel, The Godmother of Horror. If you'd like to read along or read previously published pieces, please visit spreadingtheritersword.com or ladiesofhorror.com. In the meanwhile, enjoy the reading. Beast of Lore by R. A. Clark. Within the depths rests an eerie calm. Underwater, like glass and swirling mist, a dark legend lies, sleeps, and waits for the time to start its vicious tryst. At the water's edge, beneath the moon, one dusk per decade, its eyelids lift. Now it's time to feed to feast, refuel on ripe pink flesh, not putrid fish. Nothing else will do, that's its taste. Lying still in wait, it stalks the shore. Movement ripples as shadows pass. It's craving blood and flesh and gore. They claim a boat, a rickety thing, then anchor out their loins inflamed such unbelievers of local lore, but soon they'll come to know its name. So silent it moves, first fins, then tail. Their scent a drug, their passion a bore. It swims below between the reeds, then rising, it aims, knows what's in store. It's twice as long as their floating craft, with layered teeth and powerful jaws. A scaly form, the dim hue of murk, it slips unseen, defies nature's laws. One nudge, then two, it earns a shout. Two heads appear, they seek the source. As the pair leans out, eyes wide, mouths taut, it surges full power without remorse. With a mighty splash, glassy water froths. One perfect chomp claims both heads in one bite. It snatches its prey, heft crumpling the boat. Blood curls and swirls. That's the first of the night. Then down to the depths it dives to digest. Chewing and crunching, it savors the taste. Once done, it still hungers. It will need more. It swims down the beach with no time to waste. A marina appears cluttered with boats. This will do nicely. It lays quiet in wait, watching for movement, for shadows to pass, to stroll down the dock like sweet dangling bait. At the water's edge beneath the moon, Within the depths, among swirling mist, yes, it's time to refuel, to feed, to feast. One night per decade, its eyelids lift.